Hello and welcome to Youth Foundation 3081 Celebration. And, uh, we acknowledge the uh, elders past and present of the Wurundjeri and all the Kulin nations. Pay respects to ancestors um, and their spirits who still inform everything that happens. Please enjoy this gathering, share your knowledge uh, with respect and uh, most of all enjoy the day. Thank you. On behalf of our Vice-Chancellor John Dewar and the entire La Trobe University community, I would say welcome to the Youth Foundation 3081 celebration event. Hi, my name is Shannon and this is my classmate Caitlin. Um, at the start of the year, our VCAL class completed a first aid and water safety course. From then on, we realised how important safety around water is, especially for younger people, so that's why we chose this project. Hi, I'm Madison and this is Louise and um, we organised the Islamic Museum excursion. Our aim is to make the McLeod College mus uh, Muslim kids proud of their heritage and make all the eight students of McLeod College more educated about the contributions of the Islamic world to our lives like medicine, art and food. Our aim was to reduce racism and negative stereotypes. I'm sporting Hope Dreams. This is I'm Sam. This is Pop. Hope Dream is a basketball team, and oh, sorry. Hope, Hope Dream is a basketball team. It was organized by 14 from 3081 to participate in. This is a very important project for teams, and it's really helped them stay out of trouble and keep them fit. Tiffany, Stacey and I decided we wanted to do something for the girls in Parkville Youth, youth Justice Precinct. On the 30th of May, after many weeks of organisation, we visited Parkville for a day trip to meet the girls and see if there was anything they wanted. A big part of our day was talking to the young mums that were in Parkville. We felt for the mothers and children and decided we wanted to do something to help them. We decided to assist in the mothers bonding with their children when they would visit. Hi, I'm Arvin, this is Kane and Jaden. McLeod College is running a self-defence class at lunchtime every Friday from 1.10 until 1.55 for years 11 to 12. Applying for the grant. We had a meeting with Kylie, the school nurse, and spoke about what days we were able to get the instructor in, which was Tony. He has about 30 years of experience on his belt. Once we confirm the start and finish dates, we're able to complete the rest of our grant application, including all the costings required and equipment. Obstacles we face, finding the numbers. Um, we also had trouble finding someone that would come out to the school to run the self-defense classes for a reasonable price. <laughs> Uh, we chose self-defence classes to help senior students learn new tactics within the self-defence. We chose this to help increase the fitness of the kids at McLeod College as well as relieve stress about feeling unsafe on Melbourne streets. Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Marco. There's my team, Caleb and James. And our team, we decided to build a pergola at the school. Uh, I'm starting cabinet making at TAFE and they're both studying uh, building a construction. And because we're both studying uh, in the woodwork, uh, woodwork in the field, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to use our skills and knowledge to help benefit the school. Hi, uh, my name is Benji Gersh and I'm a teacher at Parkville College. And I just want to have a quick chat about some of the projects that we've been lucky enough to get funding for. Um, so first of all, it's probably worthwhile talking about the McLeod girls who funded Toys for Our Girls. So some of our students have kids of their own and when they come to visit, um, the smiles on their faces when they're playing with the toys is just unbelievable and when the kids leave with a beaming smile, having played with their mum or dad actually and played with toys instead of sat in chairs and looked at each other across a table is a huge difference in what's going on at our school. Um, another project which uh, we're very proud of is that the girls in the Culloty unit have been, um, have designed and it will soon wear a school uniform to school instead of what's called section clothes. So instead of wearing a blank t-shirt and just blue pants, they're actually going to have some pride in their education, which is incredible. Hi all, I'm Mahad Atosh and I'm from Sarkov, which is the Somali Australia Council of Victoria. And me along with Katie met with, with, with a couple of the younger Somali boys 
and I asked them what would you like to, um, to do in order um, for a youth foundations grant. Um, two of them who are actually not present today, I'll be thanking on their behalf, which is Muhammad Hussein and Abu Bakr, and it was their idea, so it was their driving force, and um, they felt that during the summer holidays, when the soccer season was out, that um, a lot of the boys had nothing to do, so there was a lot of trespassing and loitering happening, which was which was a bit annoying to the local community, and they felt that, you know, with these boys, the talent that they have, they could be doing something during that downtime. At Bundura College, uh, secondary college, about a couple of years ago, we started what's called the Parallel Program. The Parallel Program was introduced for students who are in mainstream and are finding it difficult to attend school for various reasons. It could be trauma related, things that are happening outside of school. So for those who don't know, the Pavilion is a school that offers a lifeline to young people who, for whatever reason, isn't given the chance to complete their schooling in a mainstream setting. The Pavilion enables us young people to dream again and to choose a future we want for ourselves. Good afternoon, members of the Banyal Council. I'm Tiana and this is Ari. Um, we're, here today, we're here today to share with you our Personal Development Skills Community Project. Hello everybody, my name is Celeste <coughs> and I just would like to thank Nan and Katie for the money for the Aboriginal Deb 2014. Thank you for celebrating our projects with us. I speak on behalf of all the young people represented today when I say thank you to Youth Foundations 3081 for the opportunity to fund our community projects. We also acknowledge that Youth Foundation would not be possible without the supporting partners, naming, namely the Heidelberg and East Ivanhoe Community Bank branches of the Bendigo Bank, La Trobe University, Banyal Community Health and Banyal Council. I would now like to invite Nern Kappel, Deputy Chair of the East Ivanhoe and Heidelberg Community Bank branches. Uh, the Bendigo Bank to close today's celebration. Thank you. Thank you, Tiff, Stacey and Monique. There's lots of words to say in that. The great thing about Youth Foundation 3081 is that our young people have come up with their own ideas, their dreams and their goals and through the Youth Foundation 3081 program successfully applied for a grant. And then they've actioned these ideas, these goals and these dreams and witnessed them come into life. And then they bear witness to the empowering experience and the many positive outcomes that come from realising these goals and dreams, far more than you would have imagined beforehand. <laughs> 